Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mommy's Gin Fund. Hello and welcome. It is, I was going to say what day it is, but then I realised I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. Um, good morning, guys. Um, if you are live here with us live, please do say hello in the comments. Please do ask us any questions. Please do let us know if there's any signs that you would like to know. Um, we are more than happy to help. Um, how are you? How is everybody? Please do say hello and let me know how you're getting on. As you can tell, my lockdown hair is getting bigger. <laughs> it just seems, just seems to be getting bigger and bigger, which is not a problem shared by the two handsome men on our screen. Um, as you can tell, again, I'm surrounded by handsome men. This is fantastic. I've done this, if you've watched the previous Facebook Lives, you'll have seen that I somehow seem to have gorgeous men in every one of them. So anyway, I have two more today. Um, so the person who, with the beautiful, very snazzy interpreter t-shirt on, who's currently waving his hands, um, is the lovely Paul. So we have to say thank you very much uh, to Paul for interpreting for us. Um, and the other lovely chap that you can say, that you could see, sorry, is Marcel. So Marcel is going to be teaching us today. So Marcel is deaf. Hi, Marcel. Um, so Marcel is deaf and you will probably recognize him. Ooh, jazz, deaf jazz hands. Um, you'll probably recognize him and you'll be thinking, where do I know this man from? How do I recognize this lovely chap? And actually he's from the corner of your telly. We have a celebrity, an actual celebrity on Mummy's Gin Fund. Um, so massive, massive thank you, Marcel, for joining us today. Um, I will be joining in the class, um, despite the fact that I've been a fully qualified interpreter for almost 15 years. You never know. I might learn something. I probably will learn something today. Um, so please, you guys at home, please do join in with us as well. I will also be looking at my computer every now and again to check for comments. So don't worry, Marcel, I'm not doing my online shopping. Um, I'm not on Facebook. I am actually still listening. OK, so uh, let's get going. Marcel, please introduce yourself. Tell us about yourself. Where are you from and what do you do? Thank you so much for inviting me uh, to Mummy's Gin Fund. It's great. Um, my name is Marcel and I'm based in uh, East Sussex, in that area there. And I work, well, three jobs at the moment. Um, so uh, I do some sign language training and I also uh, do some TV work, as you've already explained. It's called InVision. And I also do translation for sites or uh, reports, information, uh, and that's from English into BSL. So yeah, and I also do some training work, as I say. Uh, it's called Wield BSL. Uh, that's the company that I work for. Is that enough for now? Is that enough information? What's your favorite color? Um, it's gonna have to be blue. <laughs> 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 always blue yeah has to be <laughs> so uh marcel i'm very excited to see what you are going to be sharing with us today um we've got some very cool signs let me just say a quick hello Ooh, to some people one second so marcel whilst i'm checking for comments please tell us how on earth did you end up in the corner of my tv how did that happen? <laughs> well, that first started uh, probably about 20 years ago now. Yeah, so I did Envision for ITV, uh, Channel 4. Um, but really, um, each channel um, is responsible for their own kind of uh, 
in interpreting. Um, so yeah, I've met lots of famous people. Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> I am basically in a little room and I'm on my own. I have a camera, I have an auto cue, and that is in English. And then the program is obviously speaking and auto cue is something that I follow. So I follow the English and then I interpret that into British Sign Language. And I do work on CBBs, so that's for children. And I have to use a lot more expression and kind of really engage with the kids at that point. But if I'm doing the news live, for example, you can't be acting like a kid. You've got to act like a grown up. I have a tie on even. And I assign much more formally in that area. So I do have to adapt to be, depending on what the, the program is. Um, I don't always wear a, a tie and I sometimes have teeth t-shirt on but um yeah so it depends on what uh, what what program i'm doing but it's really enjoyable i have to say marcel you have my dream job one day i am going to be on cbb's doing the interpreting i'm going to come over into your little green screen room i'm going to tie you up tie you to a chair and take over one day that's my dream <laughs> Right, so I'm just checking. We are live, we are in the right place. Um, we have got loads of people watching. Um, oh, we've got some people for you to say hello to. Your fans are here. Um, so can we please say hello to Layla, who is seven? She's watching, I'm very excited to learn. So give her a wave. Uh, we also have, uh, hello to, so hi to Leila, um, hello to Harry, Harry's watching, um, Ben who is, uh, Ben who is eight and, oh I've lost my comment, oh the comments are coming in so quick I can't keep up, um, Ben is eight and he's here to learn BSL for his communication badge for COBS, so he wants to say, Hi, so he's very excited about this. Um, and we, yes, <laughs> dib, dib, dib. Um, and uh, Wilfred um, is deaf and he's here watching and he wants you to say hello to him. And- Hi, hi. Wilfred. Uh, we've got Samuel who's six. And we've got Emily who's three. And we've oh, hello. we've got Alexander who's six. So we've got lots, wow. lots and lots of children here who are very excited to learn some sign language from you, Marcel. So let's get going. Come on, what are you gonna teach us? Great. Well, hello to each and every one of you. Uh, yes, hello all of you. Um, so thinking about signs that would be appropriate for today, we're all in lockdown, aren't we? And so I thought some signs about family would be good. So for example, if I sign, you copy me and I'll repeat the sign a couple of times. Check that uh, you've got it all right with your family as well. You can see what they're doing. So the first one is good morning. Morning. You have to smile, of course, when you say good morning. Well, if you've just woken up and you're a little bit groggy, you might say good morning. But really, when you're wide awake, you say good morning. It's brilliant. Another one that could be useful is children, wake up. Copy me, children. Wake up. That's obviously aimed at the parents to be able to use that one. Children, wake up. And for the children, mummy, wake up. Let's do that again. Mummy, wake up. Or daddy, 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 wake up. Please, okay. don't teach my children those signs. <laughs> They're very important signs. Wake up. Please wake up. 
the other one could be linked to the weather. So today, today, it's raining. If you look a bit miserable, then you'll see that it's raining. Today, let's try that again. Today, it's raining. Or, today, it's sunny. If you don't like the sun, mm, you can still smile. So, today, it's sunny. Sunny or raining. Sun and rain. Perfect. Today, it's raining. Where can we play? Outside? Mummy, Daddy say, no. No. Play inside. Okay, so we'll sign that again. You can copy me. So with two hands, you can say, can we play outside? No. Inside. Or today it's sunny. Can we play outside? Yes. Not inside. Perfect. Then we can look at time for children. So if you're pointing to yourself, you point to yourself. If you say, I'm hungry. Always, always, uh, hung, always, always hungry. My God. Yeah. <laughs> You point to yourself and you say, I'm hungry. And for the parents, mummy and daddy, they always say, no. So, not again. No, not again. So, let's do the children's sign in again. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And the parents, mummy and daddy, would sign, no, not again. Or you could say to the children, maybe, snack? Snack? Maybe the dog will say, can I have a snack, please? Please, can I have a snack? And then, the parents might sign what? What snack? And what ideas might the children have for their snack? I wonder if we've got any comments. My oh. children always want ice creams at the moment. I don't know why. Two days ago, I gave my son, who's three, for breakfast, two ice creams. <laughs> for his snack, two ice creams. Wow. <laughs> well, it is lockdown. They're allowed. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one sign that we can all do. Ice cream. Ice cream. So, Remember, it's not my fault. Uh, so Marcel, we've got lots of ideas here. We have biscuits and chocolate at the moment. Great, okay. So we've got ice cream and we've got C for chocolate, which goes onto the chin, chocolate, chocolate. And the third one, biscuit, and that's on the elbow, biscuit. Biscuit. Oh, somebody 
very healthy family wants to know raspberry. Raspberry. Raspberry, good. Okay, so my sign is raspberry, like this. Raspberry. Raspberry. Or, all together would be fruit. So you use your fingers like this, fruit underneath your chin, fruit. Uh, Naomi wants to know the sign for nachos. Nachos. Mm. Uh, okay, well, probably something like this when you dip in. So you've got the little nacho and you dip it in. So nachos, nachos. And remember to hold your nacho, nachos. And one more from Natasha wants to know banana. Banana. How do you sign banana? Okay, there's two. Well, one would be banana, like this, banana. But what do you do? You hold the banana and you peel the banana skin. So banana, banana, that's banana. I think that's enough snacks for now. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be full. Full, that's the sign for full, full. Now, what about this? Washing hands, wash your hands. So you use two hands for this sign and you wash. Just imagine that you've got some water and some soap and you're washing your hands thoroughly. And that's for 20 seconds. Remember, we won't do it for 20 seconds now, but at home, remember 20 seconds of washing your hands. Unfortunately, you do have to do some school work. So this is the sign for school and this is the sign for work. So first of all, you have your hand like this. You do school, work, school work. Children are like, no, no, yes. And for all the mummies and daddies, you can say shh. I'm working. So it's different for children. They do work like this, as though they're writing. For adults, we do the sign like this, work, work. So the different signs, school work and adult work. If you've forgotten the sign, don't worry, because when finished watching now, you can go back and have a look at the recording and have a look at all the signs that we're doing. Schoolwork. No phone down. I'm sure that all of the parents <laughs> at one point have said phone, is the phone, the mobile phone, down. Phone down, phone down. And you've got to look assertive when you do that. Parents, phone down, that's it. You can't smile, no smiling, phone down. My daughter's 12 and I'm always phone. <laughs> phone. Yeah, phone, <laughs> give it to me, yeah. Um, Marcel, we have a quick question, Natalie says when she learnt BSL, she didn't sign school, she signed school. Why? That's a good question. Um, yes, you have something called regional variation in sign language. So in the Southeast area, most signs would be this one, school. Other regions, 
um, maybe in the north, they might do the two fingers like this, school. It's not wrong, it's not wrong, you're absolutely right, that is a sign for school, uh, it's just a regional variation. So I'm using my sign because I'm in the south. But thank you for that, thank you. Okay, so every week we've had what outside? The rainbow. So this is a sign for rainbow. Rainbow. So lots of people have been drawing. So this is a sign for draw. Or you could paint. That's it, paint. Rainbow, paint. So you paint the rainbow. But what colors might you do? So when you think of a rainbow, if you look first of all at red, this is the sign for red. Then you have orange, orange, this is the sign for orange. Yellow, this is the sign for yellow. So you flick the finger, yellow. I can't remember the order, I'm just trying to remember. I think we've got red, orange, yellow. Thank you, Helen, thank you. I've forgotten that one. Green, green. So you do this sign on your arm, green. Some people sign blue in this way or blue in this way. I do blue on the inside of my wrist there, blue. Now, looking at the colors, we've got purple. Now, there are two purples. One would be light purple. So you flick the finger, so it's light and dark purple. So let's go through the rainbow colours again. So first of all, the sign for rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, so just there, blue, that's it. Light purple and dark purple. I hope you got those in the right order. Um, I have a quick question, Marcel. Yes. Um, Darren is asking, what about gold? Ooh, that's a nice one. So you get your two fists like this, one on top of the other, and you do gold like that. Gold. I love that sign. <laughs> gold. It's all nice and shiny, gold. Brilliant. So you've done some hard work drawing or painting your rainbow then I think that might make you hungry again. So you might want to bake a cake. Now that's a very important sign. In my house, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the same in mine. So first of all, you have your cake. Bake. So you bake a cake. You bake the cake. But mummies and daddies say first your room has to be tidy. So the children need to learn that sign. <laughs> you need to try with that one. So you have room. So you've got two hands, you tidy. 
you might need to repeat that sign 50,000 times. Per hour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tidy your room, tidy your room, tidy your room, tidy your room. <laughs> okay. So now it's time for the children to go to bed. Children, you can do one hand. Children, bed. So the sign for the children, go to bed. And then the children would say, no, later. So the children can say, later. No, I'm not going to bed now, later. <laughs> and then the mummies and daddies will say, no, bed now bed now um, i have a quick question marcel yes yeah. how do i sign bed now if i have a big glass of wine in one hand am i allowed to do it one-handed bed now bed now can i <laughs> Uh, the better one would be to hold that wine and say, bed, get there now. <laughs> bed, go. So you can just say, go, up there, go. Bedroom, if your bedroom isn't upstairs, then just point to where the bedroom is, but make sure you're pointing in the right direction. Because <laughs> you know children will go to where you've pointed. They might go to the lounge, they might go to the dining room or the kitchen. So point to the right direction of the bedroom. So now a special sign for the mummies and daddies. Two of them. Are you ready? So children, bed. Yes. They're in bed. Yes. Peace. So we've got, yes, peace. A bit bigger. Wine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, let's start, start small. <laughs> we can build up to the bigger ones. <laughs> so the sign for wine, this is the sign for wine. Or beer. Wine and beer wine, beer. So whatever's appropriate for you, uh, and this could be gin. Gin. Keep going. Gin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're a bit early. <laughs> okay, so we've gone through the list now. So oh, I'm happy to go through it again, if you want me to, yeah? Okay. All right, so the first one, morning, one hand, morning. Children, wake up. Mummy, wake up. Daddy, wake up. Today, it's raining. Or today it's sunny. Okay, play. So, can we play outside? Or can we play inside? So, I'm hungry. No, not again. I'm hungry again. Or snack, snack. What snack? Do you remember the food that we went through earlier? So it was ice cream, ice cream. The other one was chocolate, chocolate. 
and biscuit on the elbow, biscuit. Say please as well, that's very important. Can I have a biscuit please? Can I have ice cream please? Can I have chocolate please? After you've washed your hands, So it's time for school. It's time for your schoolwork. Schoolwork. And the mummies and daddies will say, shh, I'm working. I'm working. And again, for the mummies and daddies, phone, give it to me, or phone down. You must look cross when you do that one. Okay, ready for the rainbow? Rainbow and all the colors. So you might paint or draw the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, I keep forgetting, yellow, yellow, green, blue, light purple, dark purple. Oh, that made you hungry. So you might bake the cake. No, room has to be tidied first. And the children, you might say, bedtime. No, later, later. And the adults will say, no, get there now. Go. So the adults will say, yes, yes. You know, you can dance if you want to, you can do your own moves, up to you. But you'd say, yes, peace. It's drink time. Maybe some wine or beer or gin. Specifically gin and tonic, gin and tonic, gin and tonic. I've forgotten what snack, sorry, we had fruit, fruit. I think that's covered everything. Just say, I'm very, very impressed if you wait until the children are in bed before you start your gin and tonic. <laughs> very impressed. Yes. You need patience. That's parenting skills there. <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about the wine. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's different. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much. We have so Thanks. many questions and so many requests for signs. So unfortunately, I think it's going to be impossible to do them all, but I will pick a few if you don't mind. Are yeah. you okay for five minutes? Just pick Absolutely. a few signs. Um, right. Let's see. If you don't mind. Right, it's a colour. Silver. Okay. So your two little fingers, one goes on top of the other, like this, and you do silver. It's the same as gold, but you use a G for gold and an S for silver. Lovely, thank you. Um, and then we have a request, it's food, my favorite food, and it's chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, chocolate cake. Okay, well, we've already done the sign. So if you remember, you just put them two together. 
So, chocolate cake. That's it. Chocolate cake. Lovely. Uh, we have one more. Um, it's, I think, linked to the TV. So it's Disney. Disney. So you would do the ears. Disney. Disney. So it's the Disney Channel on the TV. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a question. Wilfred wants to know what's your favourite cake? His favourite is lemon drizzle. What's your favourite cake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't have one favourite. I have three that I really like. One is chocolate cake, of course. One is coffee cake. Ooh, mmm, yum. And the third one is actually the same as you, Wilfred, lemon drizzle cake. It's the same, same as you, yeah, lemon drizzle. So, uh, Emma, um, wants to say thank you very much to Marcel, Paul and Helen for this lesson. We have a deaf son and his, his two siblings have enjoyed learning with you. Oh, that's great. It's an absolute pleasure. If you remember those signs, don't forget them. And then one more question. Natalie says, uh, Marcel and Paul, do you have a Facebook page that she can follow? Or, but just a general question, if people want to learn more sign language, how do they do it? Well, the best way is to contact your local sign language centre who provides courses locally, and they'll be all over. Uh, there are two awarding bodies. One of them is called IBSL. And you can just type that on Google, IBSL, to find your local centre. And that's the same for Signature, which is the other one. So if you put your postcode in, it will tell you where your nearest centre is, where you can learn sign language. Um, it's usually a deaf tutor who teaches on those courses. Uh, of course, you could contact us on the Facebook page at Wield BSL as well. We'll put a... We'll put a link in the comments. So a link to your Facebook page, a link to your website, we'll put in the comments. Perfect, thank you. I can't promise I'll respond to every single person though, but I will try <laughs> my best. Uh, it's really important uh, to stay safe and remember the signs. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Um, so. Paul, I'm going to speak now. Is that okay? Can I hand over to you? Lovely. So um, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Marcel and to Paul, both of you, for giving up your time um, today. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this lesson. I know that I have. Um, please do carry on commenting. I'm aware that we've had lots of comments that I haven't been able to respond to. Um, I'm really sorry. Uh, we would be here all day, which I would love, but I'm sure Marcel has other things to do as well as chat to us. Um, so thank you for watching. We have got loads more Facebook Lives coming up over the next few weeks. Tomorrow morning, I am here with the gorgeous Claire. Uh, she is a CBT therapist and she's gonna be talking to us about anxiety and overwhelm. So if you, you are feeling at the moment like you're overwhelmed, you're anxious about what's happening, Claire is gonna be here to support us. Um, and then next week, we've got loads of things. Where's my paper? Uh, we've got, oh, I know I shouldn't rely on my memory. My memory's terrible. Hold on, I'll tell you. Uh, oh yes. Next week, Tuesday, we are learning how to take photos of newborn babies. So if you've just had a baby and you can't get a photographer, perfect, come along and watch that. 
Next week, Wednesday, we're learning how to survive lockdown without hating the people that you're living with. So we're all trapped in our houses, although I'm not going to say trapped, I'm going to say safe. We are all safe in our houses um, with various members of the family. So how to uh, live with everybody under one roof without wanting to put each other on eBay. That's next Wednesday. And next Thursday, we have got the gorgeous Emma, who is talking about homeschooling autistic children. So if any of your children are autistic and they are struggling with not being at school, then next week we have got some amazing tips of the best way to support them. And as always, all of our events have sign language interpreters. So if you are deaf and you are watching us, you are very, very welcome. Um, and I would love to see you back next week for the rest of our events. So once again, massive thank you to Marcel. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to seeing you on my TV again later as we watch CBBS on eternal rotation. <laughs> and massive thank you again to Paul for your interpreting. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that's a bad idea to watch it on uh, cycle. <laughs> I think, you know what, if I turn off the sound and I force them to watch you instead, that's education, isn't it? They're learning a second language. Perfect. <laughs> it's education. <laughs> All right, then, guys, massive thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye, everyone.